Hey guys, so I got this new deck. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw it. So I went to this teeny little esoteric shop right next to my house, or not right next to, but close enough. And I didn't go in to buy this, but the um, guy there just showed it to me. This teeny little deck. It's a pocket edition. I don't usually like very small decks, but I liked this silver thing. And I'm sorry that this video is all shaky and hand filmed and everything, but I will show you why in just a second. So this is the Prisma Visions Tarot, a set of cards to ease your mind. Has 79 cards, illustrated by James R. Eads. This is the back, very be beautiful. And the 79 cards, there's an extra card called Illumination. Um, so this comes, because this is the kind of a pocket edition, it doesn't have a guidebook or anything, so I have to really see if I can get my hands on one. Oops. Because it seems like it might be important for this. And the main thing that I found out, apparently this started as a Kickstarter uh, deck, which I had no idea, but I can see why, because here. I hope this is clear enough, but here we have the pentacles, the wands, the swords, and the cups, the chalices. And if you put them in order, they make a whole scene. Isn't that incredible? It's like a whole continuum. So sorry that it's shaky. The ones one is kind of weird. I have to really take a look at them individually. This part is so beautiful. I mean, the art itself is just gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of Van Gogh, you know, Starry Night, anyone? The swords is so beautiful. I love the six of swords here. It's a bridge. And the court here, the way there battling it and then tame it and then the end and the cups is absolutely stunning i love this i mean it's not your traditional um depiction of the cards, some of them are very close to, like, uh, right away, but some of them are really, like, I have no idea what's going on in the court cards here, or here, especially. Like, these, I need to really look, like, the page and the knight are, like, being consumed by this weird fire thing. Anyway. And here, it's like it has a cup here and a cup there. And this thing, like, I don't know which way it goes, but it's just wicked cool, isn't it? The gorgeous little puzzle. The um, major... Arcana 
are also really, really beautiful. Death is a rose. It's devil. It's amazing. I mean, they, some of them have really personal or like the artist really put his own touch on them. Magician is so cool. There was one, the chariot is a car, that's so nice. Mm. Oh yeah, it was the moon, I like the moon. There. But really my favorite, I mean the tower also. I always like the tower card, I'm, I'm weird, I love the tower card. Everybody hates it. And the devil and death, and I'm like, let's see how gorgeous they are. All three of them there. Beautiful. So I haven't really tried it out yet. I will do that in a while. I just had to check out this landscapes do this puzzle first I was shuffling shuffling because they kind of clumped together so it didn't really work when I was I tried to do a little test run but maybe now that they're all separate it'll go better the Empress Beautiful. I can't wait to really get to try this and figure out all the secrets because some of these cards really have like and the pentacle is pretty simple I think and it's pretty like traditional and you can get the meanings but some of them are really like oh, what is going on okay I'm gonna start playing with it and stop shaking the camera but here so this is the Prisma Visions Tarot by James R. Eads beautiful okay okay so let's see how this works in action so it shuffles nicely and although it's kind of small if we compare with the ghost tower which is quite a regular size it's actually a little bit Thicker this way. Mm, well, maybe two cards thicker, but still. The card size is quite a lot smaller, but it's not too small. I was kind of afraid that it would be too hard for me to shuffle because I'm so used to the big decks. For example, the good tarot is big. This is like half of this so let's see and I like that it's kind of thick so I mean it's kind of it's not the thickest cards but it's it, it has a good thickness to it and it doesn't bend too much no we already have something do the um I can't do the shuffle that people usually do because of my thumbs they're not equipped for that um and I don't like um 
how the cards bend anyway, so I wouldn't do that. See, this is what I meant when I said that I clump. I have king, queen, and knight, and page of pentacles. They all come in the same bunch, so I have to really mix them well before really using them. Considering how small they are, I mean, I, I know that there is a bigger version of this, and probably for the artwork, that would be better. The sun is really weird, I don't get it. It's like a, what is it called, a cornucopia, I think. But it's um, already when I was playing with it with, oh, over there on the sofa, it was giving me a lot of um, Major Arcana. Gave me the Chariot a few times. Um, so I think we're going to get along just fine as long as, you know, I get... There's, this has this has a very oh the hermit is so beautiful, it's so gorgeous. It's like I would love to have this as a painting. Um, the deck has this kind of very different energy uh, of what I'm used to. Like it's so small, but it has a very heavy energy, and I don't know with. The Wild Unknown and the um, Santa Muerte, I had some issues because they kind of drained my energy before I I did the like month-long challenges on Instagram to kind of get the get accustomed to them and, and now I can use them just fine. I don't get that kind of draining energy yet, but it's it has like, it, I kind of want to say that it has like an old soul. The kind of very like, it's packed with information. There is so much to know. It has so much to tell me. I just love shuffling. I could just do this all day. <laughs> do like any personal reading or anything here um, so as far as um, how intuitive the cards are I mean I said that some of them are kind of I mean something like a eight of swords being stuck but not really being stuck it's very visible over there very um, intuitive, getting it from there, but some of them, like, Eight of Cups, it's kind of like a mess, I don't know what's happening there, they look gorgeous in the bigger, um, scene, but the Emperor actually looks like the Devil card to me, it's kind of interesting. Anyway, I love it. It has like very raw imagery, but then like very like this kind of soft and loving and warm pictures. And I just I love this. It was really like, I just walked in there, he showed me this and I was like, yeah, I'll come and get it tomorrow. <laughs> and didn't even think about it more. I've never heard of this deck before. Again, two, three, four. So, 
I really love it. And for anyone who likes this kind of art, I definitely recommend it. And I like the quality too, even though it's a pocket edition and everything. And I really wish I had the guidebook. I don't know if it would have more information on the art as well. Um, if someone has this and has the guidebook, let me know in the comments if I'm missing something important. If you have any other comments about this, you know, I really would love to hear. Um, because I, uh, Eight of Wands is just so stunning. Uh, I really don't know anything about this. But yeah, you'll probably be seeing this. A lot. Would make a good clarifying deck. Definitely. It's kind of small and swift and to the point. I like that. Okay, so that concludes my review, which was all over the place and probably didn't give you much, but at least, you know, you got to see the deck. So I like it. I recommend it. It's fun. It's different. And it's gorgeous. Okay, so thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you again next time. Bye.